stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. Tell me. Oh. Oh, that I found him. Find him, her. He, she. Whoa! Okay, well, this is, uh... I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to... Four Bears Holdout. Out of my face. And you two. Dead! That's more like it. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's We are called the Dawn Guard, and we need to read an Elder Scroll. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. And just tell me where I need to go. Nice! So I'm guessing that's quest completed. You can find us at Fort Dawn Guard. Where are you with them? The Dawn Guard. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's e Young here and welcome to Skyrim Dawnguard. Let's play as Dawnguard episode number 6. And yes, I do know what you guys are thinking right now. Young, what the hell are you doing on my screen? And I say to you, you best get used to my face, because I'm here to stay. That is right guys, I am on camera from here on out, so you guys can, I don't know, watch me when I freak out when bunnies pop out of nowhere from within bushes, as I've embarrassingly done before. But that was right before I shot the bunny in the face. It's going to be awesome from here on out. So let's dive right into it. And before we begin, I do need to let you guys know that I skipped over a quest. And the reason is because I was recording it. And that was supposed to be episode number 6. But Fraps decided to crash in the middle of the recording. And I had no idea until after I finished the quest and saved the file over the previous one. So I overwrote the save file so I cannot go back anymore. But... Fortunately for you guys, it's actually a very minor side quest from Sorin Gerard, one of the Dawn Guard people, and uh, she essentially asked me to get Florentius Banius from Runvald, which is this little cave. I went in there, you know, shot some people in the face, and uh, rescued the guy, and now he's with us in Fort Dawn Guard and aiding our cause of defeating the vampires. So just keep in mind that there's gonna be this guy Florentius walking about now and then from here on out. But apart from that, you guys really didn't miss out on much. So. Before I go to Sorene again, so she can hopefully give me a, some sort of quest that gives me a better crossbow, I'm gonna get rid of this idiot right here. What now? What now? I think we should part ways and you should get out of my face. Good luck out there. Mm hmm Hopefully I'll see you again soon. <laughs> I'll see you again too, baby. In bed. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she's an idiot. I mean, God, I hate NPC companions. God, every time I do a quest with any companion, there hasn't been a single quest in which the companions have listened to me throughout an entire quest. They always end up doing something really stupid and ruining my plans. And I'm a sneaky kind of guy and these guys don't like sneaking very much. So yeah, they're all idiots. Anyways, Soreen, what's up? I'm getting along with Isron. I don't know. Thanks, I'm getting used to. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, every person I've asked so far to come to Dawnguard, when I mention the name Isron, they just freak out. They go, oh, hell no! And I'm like, whoa, dude, you need to chill. And then they start talking about what a dick Isron is. So I don't know. He's probably a major dick, but that's not my problem. What can I do to help? I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. Yes! I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. Oh my god, finally! I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. Cool. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. It makes results. That's not a good metaphor. That's nasty. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. Oh, snap. So... You'd be a deer and oh. collect those plans for me? She did not just call me a deer, did she? Oh, God. What am I, like her maid? Would you be a deer and get me a cup of coffee? Oh, thanks. Wow! But you know what? I'll do it. It's a it's a crossbow schematic for a better crossbow. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and now she gives me the sassy black girl treatment. God, what is wrong with you, woman? That's right, go back to sleep, nerd. God, let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. I'm gonna go get that crossbow or that schematic. I think it's a schematic, right? Let me check real quick. Yes, retrieve the enhanced crossbow schematic from, what is it, Stony Creek Cave? So, looks like that's where we're going next. I'm going to disable these idiots right here, and boom. And as you guys can see, I downloaded this mod that makes the HUD a lot cleaner. It makes it smarter. So, for example, the compass, you guys don't see it now, but when I use my stamina, like when I sprint, there is a compass right there. And uh, there's a, the crosshair isn't there either. It only appears when I say draw my crossbow, like so. So, it's a really cool mechanic, a really cool mod that adds uh, a brain for the HUD and uh, 
I don't know, we can enjoy the sights a little better with all the clutter of the HUD gone. So it only appears in uh, certain times. So it should be really interesting. But apart from that, uh, there's no other new mods that I have added. Um, I know I should get some more Dawnguard mods out there. I know there are some mods for the Vampire Lord, and I'll probably end up using those eventually. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's get out of here. Let's check the map out and see where we have to go. Okay, so looks like there's nothing around except uh, this right here seems to be the closest place. So it looks like we're going to Runvald Excavation and uh, hopefully it will not be too difficult to... It will, hopefully it will not be uphill, you know, because... Oh, snap! Well, the weather sucks. And look at that! I got this mod that makes my character get wet when it's raining or when he goes... Oh my god! Okay. You know what? Maybe I should just uh, keep moving. But yeah, I got this mod that makes him get wet when uh, there's rain or when he goes in some sort of... Uh, any sort of water, and any sort of body of water. So it's really cool. But, uh, and that thunder, that thunder noise, yeah, that's also a mod, it's called, what is it, Immersive Thunder? Yeah, and I downloaded that, Oh, let's shoot this guy in the face, oh damn, I missed, oh, you son of a bitch, slow motion style now, what's up, nobody flees from my wrath, I'll take the bolt though, thank you, alrighty, yeah, as you guys can see, I get really distracted, really easily, oh god, I thought I was gonna die for a second, Okay, alright, cool, so it's downhill, thank god, that means it's not going to be all that difficult to, uh, to get to this place, so, whoa, what is this place, Tolvald Cave, let's check the journal real quick, uh, or, or the map, okay, cool, so, looks like we have discovered another location, I'll explore that later, but for now, I'm just going to go downhill and, uh, find this damn, what is it called, Stone Creek something? I keep forgetting. Stony Creek Cave. So we're going to go find this cave and uh, get this damn enhanced crossbow schematic. And uh, I'm going to get me a better crossbow. So that is the mission for now. Ooh. I'm going to mine. Yeah. Some iron. I iron. I keep saying iron. Um, that's how I thought it was pronounced until like a few months ago when one of the comments uh, said that it's iron. And uh, man. Boy, did that change my life. But God, this guy's slow. There you go. So I got all the ore, the iron ores. Now let's get out of here. Uh, get this enhanced crossbow. And then after that, I'll probably, unless she has some other quests that gets me even better crossbows, I'll probably end up uh, doing the main quest. And uh, yeah, so that means that in the Vampire Lord side of things, in episode 6, I'm probably also going to do a side quest. I want, I want to keep things as parallel as possible. So when I do a side quest on one of them, I do a side quest on the other. When I do a main quest on one of them, I do a main quest on the other, and etc, etc. So, yeah, let's keep them as parallel as possible, see how they end up, you know, at the same time. What is this place? Oh! Oh, hell no! He didn't see me, did he? Oh, you didn't. Oh my god! Oh, that was delicious. Hello, Zaga. Let me, let me, let me check you out for a second. Hey, where's my uh, little thing? My my bolt. Well, I think it's far too deep inside his face. I don't think it's recoverable anymore. Oh, is that his bolt? Yeah, if you look at the bottom right there. Yep. Oh, that's a she. Never mind. Is that a she? I can't tell. It doesn't matter. But that was a sexy shot. Man, that was satisfying. What is this right here? Oh, more ores. I'll, I'll take some more. I think that when you mine ores, it should increase your smithing skills. I don't know if it does, but it doesn't seem like it. Like, I've never gotten any skill increases from mining. But it should be part of smithing, in my opinion. But, oh well. Whatever. Alrighty, we've got some ores. And, uh, what's in this little tower? Hmm, nothing interesting, to be honest. Oh, we got a chest. Apprentice level. No problem. I have, uh... This mod, Lockpick Pro, that can help me out with that. I'll take that. And uh, what else do we have here? An alchemy lab. Some ingredients. Hmm. Restore magic. I'll take these potions and uh, these things right here. You know what? Let's uh, do a little bit of uh, alchemy. I haven't done alchemy in a while. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is eat ingredients that I don't know anything about. So that way... Uh, it's easier to make potions, and I don't fail, like, 50% of the time, so... 
Let's see, I don't know this one. Oh god, this is gonna be one hell of a riot. I'm gonna get so sick from eating all this crap. Alright. Ooh, ew, that is nasty. God damn. Ah, oh, I'm eating a claw. That is nasty. Okay. Dartwing blue and Dartwing orange. God. Man, sucks to be Dovahkiin right now. God, I feel... Oh, no! Oh, my God. He's gonna eat Falmer ear. Oh, God. I can feel it coming up. My stomach. Mm, man, I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That is nasty. All right. Oh, God. That was nasty. Oh, honeycomb. Okay, that should sort of relieve things a little bit. We got some... What else do we have? Moon sugar. I'm gonna get myself high. Oh, yes. I'm so high. More, uh... What is that? Tapinella? Some mushroom. I'll take that and that. Man. I haven't eaten a lot of things. Nightshade. Ninroot. I don't know. I think that's healthy. God, Saber Cat Eye. Oh, God. And Saber Cat Tooth. How do you even eat that? God, maybe Argonians have uh, super advanced and sharp teeth. Oh, yeah, I am an Argonian for those who are still new to my Let's Play series. Oh, God. Skeever Hide. Um, snowberries. Sprig and Sap. And I think Torchbuck Thorax. And I think that's about it, right? White Cap. And, yep, I ate every ingredient. Oh, my God! That kind of scared me, that noise. But God, this guy, oh man. This guy is so high and drugged and sick right now. It's not even funny anymore. Oh God, that was a horrible experience. Anyways, whatever. Let's get some alchemy going on here. Let's see, damage health. So yeah, like once I eat all those ingredients, I get a little, I get some more options because I know what these things do. Damage stamina. And hopefully I get some uh, alchemy skills increased. Uh, let's see. It's just magic. Take that. And restore stamina. I'll take that. One more, maybe. There you go. Nice! Alchemy increased to 20! God, I need to train in alchemy. I didn't know it was, uh... But yeah, now that I think about it, I barely use any alchemy throughout this Let's Play series. And, uh... Let's see. Weakness to fire? I think that's about it. Oh! Never mind. In do that, and uh, I think that's it. Do I have any ingredients left? Oh my god. Yeah, I still have a lot of ingredients left. But I think that's good enough for now. We'll see what we do with them uh, later. So I'm going to quit alchemy for now. And uh, let's uh, not get sidetracked anymore and go get this schematic. I'm going to take that. 14 gold. And uh, run. So that I can look at my compass. Oh god, I hope I don't die. I'm going to quick save it just in case. Okay. I got this. Nice. Oh, man. Most of the time when I, you know, have to run to get to one location, it usually ends up being uphill. So it usually ends up with me fighting the collision engine. And God, I hate that. It's terrible. But I usually win. But it takes a little time. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, look at that cave. I think that's it. So let's go right now. Stony Creek. Wait, what the heck? I, I thought I sensed... Like some sort, of, some sort of thing down here. Like a rock. It is a rock, okay. I thought maybe it was a mud crab or... Alright, no biggie. Let's get out of here. And uh, to Stony Creek Cave. Let's get the schematic. Let's get the new crossbow. And we go from there. Oh man, that guy has it bad. Just in case though, maybe he's a zombie. And you know what they say about zombies. What happened to my crossbow? Whoa, what happened to my crossbow? Oh, there you go. But you know what they say about zombies. Shoot them in the head. Make sure they're dead. He's dead. Catch some salmon. I don't know what for. Maybe I'll sell them. Keep them in my pocket. Hopefully they don't rotten. And uh, let's see. This, he's just called Breton. Man. You know how insignificant an, N an NPC is when they're just called by their race. It's like, he's black and he's white. Nice to meet you guys. No. It's just not cool. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's just keep going this way. Where do I have to go? I'm gonna check the map real quick. 
Alright, so let's keep going this way, and uh, we should get there eventually. And I'm gonna sneak in case there are any enemies, and roll around. Hopefully I won't, uh, my character won't throw up. Oh god, oh god! Oh man! Oh god, that scared the hell out of me, but in the end, that was so worth it. Oh my god, it sucks to be you right now, buddy. I'll take that. And, uh, Honey Nut Treat. Sure, why not? Uh, Amulet of Talos. Eh, I don't need that crap. I think he's... Are there more out here? I think he's it. For now. And, uh, where is this, uh, thing? Oh, there you go. So I go in here, I'm guessing, and... Oh, God! There's a trap! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, crap! There's another person in here! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God! Nope, don't, don't, just stay right there. In your face! Oh, what's up, Saga? Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Oh, God! Man! I'm blind today. I can't see anything. I can't see people. Oh, we got another, another alchemy lab here. And I'll take that stone of, uh, what's it called? Baron Zaya or something? And take some ingredients. And, uh, craft more potions later. Hmm. Alright, so where is this thing? Oh! I found it. It's a chest. Let's open that up, and there it is! Enhanced crossbow schematic. And now we're gonna get a better crossbow. So, soul gem, gold, amethyst, I don't even know. What is that? Finn's loot? Uh, is that what these things are called? Loots? Got some scrap that I don't need. Dwarven, or Dwarven Hall. I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. Alrighty, let's see what this Dwarven Hall is. Uh, what is it? Alright, let's see. Hands off the Dwarven Hall until we know who wants this stuff. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll find out later, but for now I just want my damn crossbow. So, let's go back. Let's get out of here. Go to Soul Rain and hopefully she'll give me my just rewards. Uh, where do I go? This way. Right, I knew that. Oh, snap! What the hell? Where did this... Where did these guys come from? Boom, Saga! You dead, what's up? Oh my god. Oh, that never gets old, does it? No. Oh, I love my crossbow. Uh, let's see, what do you have here? Some garnet, I don't need you. Some steel bolts, alrighty. Iron arrows, I'll take those. And I'm guessing there's some more guys over here. I'm gonna quick save it first. And uh, let's see. Any guys? Nah, I don't care. Let's get out of here. I think I dealt with uh, everyone I needed to deal with. So let's get out of here and uh, hopefully this crossbow is really worth it. To Skyrim! I'll go back to Soreen. Oh god, frame rate tip. Alright. Oh, hit the console by accident. Let's go to Dawn Guard. Talk to Soreen. Hopefully she's she's uh awake. Well actually it doesn't matter, I can just wake her up. Man. Stupid me. Alright, here we are. Excellent. Let's go in here. Find Soreen, get our crossbow, and I think that's a good way to end it for now. And then we'll see what happens in the vampire side of things. Uh, I'll probably end up doing a, another side quest, so stay tuned for that one. And, uh, alright. Soreen! My friend, my buddy. Where is she? Okay, she's... Oh yeah, in the smithy probably, yeah. In the smelter, more specifically. Hello, Saka! Hope you're getting along with Isran. Blah blah blah, let's see. I am back from Stony Creek Cave with the enhanced crossbow schematic. Yeah. You're back and alive to boot. Fantastic. Fantastic! Hmm, I see. Clever dwarves. Mm -hmm. With a similar technique and a little tinkering, I should be able to improve the capabilities of our crossbows. Sounds great. I often wonder where we'd be if the Dwemer were still around. Oh well. We'll have to manage with the scraps we find. What would happen is... Here, let me show you how it's made. Technology would take over. Assuming you have the smithing skills, she keeps you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Yay, okay. Anyway, I'll have some for sale but soon. That's a good question. What would have happened if the Dwemer would have been still alive in Skyrim? They would have had, like, laptops. They would have had YouTube. Maybe our world is what happens when Dwemers were still alive. Think about that. 
accurate history. I learned that in high school. Blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm guessing she sells it now. Let's see. Crossbow. Pro yes! Enhanced crossbow! What does it do? Attacks with this crossbow ignore 50% of armor. That is hot. I'll take that. Oh my god, I barely have any money. I need to sell some things. Hold on. What do I what do I not need? I'm gonna sell all this crap. Most of it is useless. Directors. Oh, these are these are some stuff that I use for uh, the cinemas. Elven boots of waning. Nope, I don't need you. All this is jewelry and crap that I don't need. Speech increased. Very nice. Croesus party boots. Oh, I remember these. These are from that one quest from the main quest. Uh, oh, naked statue. You think I'm gonna sell my naked statue? No, thank you. This is my prized possession right here. Hmm. God, I'm never letting you go, baby. And we have silver ring, amethyst ring. Wow, this one does nothing. No, I'm keeping this one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Junk, 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 junk. Junk, just more junk altogether. And what is this? Nap, junk. Alrighty, cool. And let's see if we have any potions we can sell. Damage, please. Oh, hold on, those are my... God damn it. Those are my poisons. Whatever. I don't need poisons. Crossbows are strong enough as it is. Fortify. I don't need any fortification with anything. Uh, fortify health. I may use that though. Heavy armor. Nah. Illusion. One handed. Smitting. And look at that. Speech increased again. And uh, fortify strength. Uh, nah. I don't need a lot of this stuff. I, I'm fine the way I am. Resist. No thank you. Restore Oh, yeah, I need all the restore crap. Uh, skooma. Okay, I'm keeping my skooma. Psh, please, I'm not selling my skooma. I'm just a junkie after that one event. Oh, wait, that was in the vampire side of things. I'm not a junkie on this side of things. But yeah, I went to, like, a hookah bar on the vampire side of things. You should, you should check that that episode out. It's called Hookah Bar. It's hilarious. It's literally, it's literally a bar of drugs. And then you go down there, and then there's, like, vampires you have to kill. It's really interesting. Yeah, I don't mean I don't need the skooma. And what else do we have? Sleeping tree sap. That looks important. Health increased by 100 points. Oh, I may use that. Stall magica. Nah. Water breathing. Weakness. Weakness. I don't need any of this. Weakness to magic. Man, I'm making her broke. What else? Regenerate? Yeah, I may use that. Invisibility. Absolutely. I don't know what this is for. Frostbite Venom. I have, I have some poison still. Frenzy. Maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use Frenzy. Drain health. Fortify health. Yeah, I said I'm gonna keep that. Cure poison. I may need it. Although, I think I'm immune to poison or something. I don't know. Damage stamina. Brandy. Um, no, thanks. Cure disease. And I think that's good. Oh, no. I still need to buy easy to get supplies some bolts. Way out here, but I'm managing. Sunfire. What is this? Ball of sunlight that deals 25. This may be a mod. I don't know if this is actually a vanilla spell. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Uh, wooden bowl. I don't need that. Uh, what is this? Cast iron pot? Oh, no, I don't need that. Quicksilver ingot. I, I use that. Tankard. Nope. Alrighty, cool. Now let's get some steel bolts. And there you go. I have. A lot more money now. I think I had like a thousand when I came in here. Now I have five thousand. God, I love the bartering system here. Sometimes they don't care about whether they leave with uh, less money Farewell. than they originally had. Pretty hilarious. Oh my God! Like this? Oh, <laughs> she's cool with it. Well, that, that's fine with me. Alrighty. Well, <laughs> that that was an excellent way to end it here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We'll see what we do in the next episode. We'll probably either end up doing a side quest for Sorene again, or we'll end up doing the main quest. I'll think about it, but uh, look forward to the vampire side of things in uh, a few hours. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe you have, if you haven't done so yet to be updated on more of these fantastic, fantastic Let's Plays. I cannot talk today. Be sure to check out my Facebook. Google Plus and Twitter accounts to be updated on. Also my videos on TGN and the ones I do on Young Gea and just other news updates in general. And finally, just be sure to like and share the video. Those help out 
tremendously. And apart from that, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to the next few episodes. Thank you very much, and young out!